hey out there, y'all. Welcome on in. Hey, Jay Cena, Junior, Alex, and Egret. Hope y'all are having a great night. I am chilling, per usual. Oh, I can't sit down when I'm in the chair. Of course. Welcome. Hello. Hope y'all had a great Tuesday. Can't believe it's already Tuesday. What kind of games are you into? I'm mostly into creative sims, old school platformers, 3D platformers to some degree. Um, and just like casual competitive games. Mostly Nintendo competitive games. Like I'll play Splatoon, Smash, and Mario Kart, but I'm not really into a bunch of other stuff. Anyway, I've uh, redone the, the layout of my stream a little bit. I got rid of the weird page turny thing in the bottom corner and just left a little triangle. I think that's a little cleaner and cuter. And my little brush stroke down below is a little more fancy. It's Junk Cena, J Cena, John Cena. That's everyone's reference is going to be John Cena from here to the end of time. So fancy. I keep it simple, but also fancy. How you doing, Agret? I forgot to plug my mic in before I uh, launched OBS. Sometimes when I, if I plug it in after I launch OBS, the audio comes out all distorted. So, oh, wait, let's turn the light off. Ready to go to sleep, nice. That's a good thing. Hey, Junior. Can you give me some, give Heroes of Might and Magic 3 a try? I don't even know what that is. I don't own that at all. Plus, I don't know if it even runs on Mac. And it, or if it runs on Boot Camp. If it's a really graphics intensive game, chances are I won't be able to run it unless it's available on Mac. BRB. All right. Uh, I have a bunch of those Yodel sweaters now. Let's wear one of those. They're cute. Let's wear the funky green and pink one. Yeah, I'm assuming it's probably Windows. It sounds from the name of it. I would assume it's probably just a Windows game. <laughs> Most likely. Hey, Haley. Still super happy from yesterday till today. I congrats on the computer again. Oh my God. Big day. It's a big day. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know about Heroes of Might and Magic. Honestly, it's so it's strategy. What is it like a real time strategy? Or is it like a tactics esque like Fire Emblem? Hmm. Going a little off the rails with this look. We'll do that. That's kind of cute. Oh, happy for a different reason. Well, that's good. We're gonna go for like funky old man. Is it your phone? Um, I mean it's it's showing somewhat dropped frames. I don't know what's up, honestly. Twitch has been very bad to me this past week in terms of drop frames, but it's saying like six percent, which is not that bad, but it's not great. But it's not like giving me a an error like it would if it was super bad. Twitch has just been very unkind to me this Christmas season. It doesn't like me. <laughs> We're gonna wear pink shoes. Actually, no, that's not grandpa enough. Where's the, yeah, the loafers, pink loafers. Oh, no worries, Haley, yeah. 
I gotcha. Could just need to be charged and restarted. Bones dying. Tragic. Wonder if I have gray pants instead of these black pants. Actually, I have a black mustache, so it kind of works. We'll stick with the black. And I'm thinking no bag. No bag today. All right, so I'm doing viewer islands. If anyone wants me to visit their island in a bit, let me know. I am down for that. I guess I could design some pixel art in the meantime. Oh shit, I might need to go back in time if I'm gonna do chores. I only have one shovel. There's no way I have enough of a shovel inventory to do all my flower pulls. Almost beat Fry and Smash. Hey, Lou. I did see you were pretty close with your little Pikachu. I was gonna enter the queue, but it was too long and I'm too impatient. So I was just like, I'll let it, I'll just watch other people play. Oh my God, there's so many. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to go back in time real quick. I didn't think to, uh, to do that. Whoopsie. We gotta go back to daytime. Can't, this year is so close to being over, y'all. Can you believe? Basically in 48, 49 hours, 2020 will be a wrap. If you're on the West Coast, then 52 hours. And if you're Jay Cena, even sooner than that. Lou, oh my God. Thank you. Two months. I can't believe two months already. Where does the time go? I don't even know, but I really appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, it was already off. Two months. 2021. Uh, 2021 just sounds beautiful to me. When you compare it to 2020, what's, you know, can it get much worse? I guess it can. I shouldn't say that, but I don't know. But then 2021, it doesn't roll off the tongue as nicely. And it also, yeah, it's just another year. 2021. Got to add that whole extra syllable in there. Hopeful. I am also hopeful for 2021. Um, once I uh, find a, an actual well-paying job, then, you know, things might be looking up. Who knows? Who knows? Remember it was 5K? Um, you did a... Um, it's a joke. Then 2021, I didn't get that. I'm not that clever. <laughs> Me? Clever? Now, you used a sound command, Jacina, and I can't refund sound command channel points. So I didn't figure out how to use it, so I just took them away. I'll have to get someone who knows how to use sound commands to, like, help me out with that. Because I don't know. I don't know how to do it. Hi, little corn. Welcome on in. <laughs> yeah, that went right over my head. Didn't get it. Because that's just... Yeah. <laughs> we are doing cleanups, and then we're going to do viewer visitor... Uh, visiting viewer islands. I'm finally starting to get uh, purple hyacinths. I'm so happy about that. You love my outfit, so I'm trying to take Kid Knives. Kid Knives always makes me do an outfit without blue. So I am, hey, little corn, we'll go to your island first. Give me a little bit of time here to clean up. I won't do major cleanups like I usually do. I'll, I'll hold off because sometimes it takes like 45 minutes to pluck all these time travel flowers. But I will just like get some fossils, wrap them, hand them out, and do that kind of stuff. And then I'll come to your town. 
Um, do you prefer Dream Island or Actual Island? You suck at designing. No. Honestly, all towns and islands have charm. Even big empty ones I just see as like a, an opportunity. You'll do Dodo Code? All right, that sounds good. That sounds great. Junior, oh my god, I haven't been to Sakurinbo in forever. Wait, didn't you lose your island, Junior? I thought you had like a, was it you? You tried to like move your, your data or something? I don't, I can't remember. Anyway, I also did a little bit of, um, oh, you got it back. Oh, that's great. That's really good. Um, I did a little bit of slight changes to my town too, which y'all, you'll maybe see as I'm cleaning. Um, so this lake used to be bigger, but I made it tinier. Give myself a little yard space here. Um, I also, like, made this just very slightly smaller. Give a little bit more space up here for flowers to grow in, since that's where my purple hyacinths come in. Uh, let's see. We need to pick up sticks. We need to get fossils. We need to identify fossils and wrap them and pass them out. I really want to get Pierce's photo so I can get him out of here and replace him with Eunice. Because we also have too many boys. I want like... I just want more girl villagers. Lenny, we have too many jocks. Two lazies. There's just too many. Change more things with your island, but don't know what to do with it. There is, sometimes this game you have a bit of like a blockage, and that's alright. Sometimes you see something on someone else's island that just gives you a little bit of inspiration, and that's what you need to like carry to the next phase of your island. <sighs> your switch charger broke, oh my god, terrible. Kirsty had that problem, and she eventually got it to work again, but I don't know if she did anything special. As y'all can see, I did a lot of time traveling. So many flowers. I don't know why I do this to myself. I think I might actually lay transparent tiles tonight on the dirt paths. At least to stop this from... Like, it's okay if they grow into the snow and grassy areas, but I am definitely tired of getting them out of the paths. Oh, you got a backup charger for car rides. That's nice. Damn. So this is different up here. I made this a little, like, fenced off walking area. And then another little seating area here. I might put a statue right here. But I was thinking this would be, this is like a nice area to do fishing or something. You know what I was also thinking? I should, this just popped into my mind. But I was thinking, like... What else could I do to this area over here? Because I also changed this. I might put a little dock. Like a tiny little baby pier onto my giant lake. I think that would be cute. Right? Let's try that real quick. A charger for car rides is a good idea. Especially, I mean, I guess if you're not a passenger, but for like... Yeah, for the little ones and stuff, it would be great. I sometimes can't do, like, I can't do lots of things in the car. Maybe it's because I'm getting older, but sometimes when I, oh, what am I doing? When I'm, like, try to read my phone or play a game or, like, read a book in the car, I get a little, like, woozy and sick. Told me, I'll check it out. I'll check it out, Haley. Yeah, this dock, I already have the wooden thing made up. I already made like a little bridge pattern. What do you call a man sinking in mayo? Cinco de mayo. Cute. Cute. Okay, let's uh... 
You tried. You tried your best. I'm like forgetting the controls. I never do this stuff. Alright, our bridge is over here. The problem is... Oh. I don't know how people... How do people get stuff to show up without the stuff on the sides? Do they go back and like edit it? Do they do something to it? Because I've seen like Instagram posts where they do this thing, but there's no like land on the side. They must go back and do like photoshopping. Honestly though, I don't give that much of a shit. I mean, I would love if I couldn't see the the land there, but I don't think there's any way to avoid it. All right, which means this needs to be not rounded. My life is a lie, so wood is made out of paint. Something like that. I was like, whoa, that sentence is confusing the hell out of me. But then I got it. The whole life is a lie. Wood is made out of paint. In this world, yes. Yeah, I kind of like that. It seems maybe... Like maybe I should take one... Oh, I can jump. Oh, I don't like that, though. I don't really like that. Edits. We gotta edit this. We gotta edit that. I think in it's a it's a blend. It could be both. Can we fix it? We can fix this. This is easy. Things just have to be kind of toned down a little bit. Like we're not going to be able to have this here. Well, actually yeah, we can. I just can't have fence here. I just don't want to be able to hop, you know? I don't like that. I make up arbitrary rules in my head and then I force myself to follow them. Isn't that what Animal Crossing is all about? I gotta say, making little rounded corners is kind of tedious. <laughs> Alright, and then we want to... Well, no, we actually... Just gotta get rid of this row. Tedium. Okay. Yeah, I have to. I can only put this so. What am I gonna do? I guess I just leave this fence like this. I kind of like having that little fence by the lake there. I'll just have to live with it being not totally in my brain symmetrical never a talkative person but these days i'm kind of i don't think you're annoying at all i don't think so jokes is jokes all right let's do that And then, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this fence. 
We'll just leave the little fence behind the bench. All right, little corn sounds good. I got distracted, but I will stop doing this in a minute. Frosty! Hey, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Yeah, I don't think you're annoying at all. You're just, uh, you just woke up, right? You're like in that morning space. A lot of us are just in that nighttime mode, so it's just different. But it's certainly welcome and no need to be apologetic about it at all. You're just waking up. You're getting your day started. All right, all right, that, I think I like that better. It makes the lake just slightly bigger and you can't jump from the pier to my little, you have to like walk around. I mean, I guess you could still pole vault to it, but that's fine. I wish I could put flowers here and here though, without it being square, but I can't, can I? Maybe I should just extend it one little space. Let me talk myself into that and see if I like it. jump I can't jump okay so I think I'm fine with that I think I'm all right with that it's just a little more compact but I wanted a little I wanted something on here like it's a nice little like fishing pier for the I can put like some little things out here maybe to make it look less um, basic. Like, I'll put a little fishing cooler and something out here. I don't know. Oh my god! Lou! Come on, celebratory bits Aww. Thanks Thank you, Lou. A great place to hang. Aww. Thank you for being here to hang and making it a great place. I'm just one person. Alright. Alright, I'll stop what I'm doing, little corn. And I'll head over there. Chores can wait. They'll be they'll be waiting for me when I get back. I don't even need to like take all this stuff out. I'll be very studious and I will be right there. This can be like my little space filler while I'm waiting for other submissions to come in. Okay, but this area I changed it up and I like it. It's not too much of a difference. That is a lot. And I appreciate it. So kind. One day I'm going to get that fifth emote slot. I know it. But I'm just going to let it happen organically. Because thing it's been working, you know? Like, just... Oh shit, we have Gullivar. Okay, we'll come back and do Gullivar. I like to just take it easy, you know? Subbing is 100% optional, so I'm just here to chill and play games, and if y'all are kind and generous enough to sub and throw bits my way, I'm just thrilled that you would do that for me. Ugh. Honestly. By the way, I have ice water again. I've been missing my ice water so bad. I've been drinking like room temp water for like a month. So I was too too lazy to go to the gas station and get a bag of ice. We could get ice trays, but I kind of hate ice trays. It's too much work. And like I said, I'm lazy. All right, we don't need to do anything. No, we don't need we don't even need to do anything. Usually, it's just, and bagged ice just is nice. 
It takes up a lot of room in the freezer, which is kind of the worst part about it, but it's only like two bucks. So it's kind of feels worth it to me to have like ice for a solid two weeks without any effort of having to keep up with ice trays. When are we going to, we're going to do Mario Kart. I mean, we could do it tomorrow. I was thinking maybe splitting between Mario Kart and Smash, because I don't know if Mario Kart's going to keep me entertained for, for a full three hours, if I'm being honest. I might get a good hour, hour and a half out of Mario Kart and then get bored of it. That's generally about about the amount of time that game like retains my attention. Then I'm like on to the next. It's not Animal Crossing. All right, we're dodoing. Hey, Chroma. At first, <laughs> but yeah, I was thinking like the more because I was kind of I watched Fry play Smash and was like, you know, I'm not great at Smash. Some people would probably come in here and totally kick my ass, but I could hold my own to some degree and not get super frustrated. But I do start to get tilted at Smash if I'm like uh, losing a bunch. <gasps> Orangeville, cute. My mobile data's used up to 90. Oh, yeah, you gotta go. Save that data. Mwah. Take it easy, Jacina. Enjoy your day. <laughs> Save that data. Hey, Chroma. How was your day? Hope your day goes well, Jacina. Thanks for starting it with me. You're the best in Smash. And I haven't really done, I did, I think, did I have I ever really streamed Smash? Maybe like once or twice. But not frequently. But I could, you know, maybe we do like a Smash Mario Kart night. So maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow. I, did, I need to do Wind Waker, so I'm thinking... I didn't get a lot of people, but I also didn't have as many viewers back then. I didn't get a lot of people that wanted to join, so Smash didn't... Smash didn't, like, draw. Like, people didn't want to play Smash. But now I have more people that might might be interested. But yeah, I'm thinking if... So tomorrow night, probably Mario Kart Smash, and then Thursday night, Wind Waker, Friday night, Among Us. And then maybe, like... Animal Crossing and Minecraft again on the weekend or something. Hello! I come bearing me. I'm happy to be here. Am I getting a guided tour or am I free to roam? Thoughts on Steve? I actually played with Steve a little bit and he's interesting. He's not as cumbersome to use as I thought. He would be just look around all right that's fine um do you by chance need well i only have one green mum i was gonna offer you green mums but i only plucked one up all right i will look we'll start with uh with this area so we've got a big rose fan a little tea area Oh my god, there was uh, I was watching, who was it last night? Youngborough, he's Australian. And he was doing visitor, like island visits, viewer island visits, except he was roasting them. Oh my god, it was hilarious. Someone had like eight picnic things on their island and he went absolutely fucking ape shit. <laughs> it was funny as hell. Yeah, he's really he's really funny. And like <laughs> very chill. Like I don't get to tune in him into him as much because I'm usually streaming and then I have to go to bed, but he is really funny. Alright, you're a big rose fan. Red red roses up in here. I like the little benches outside the shops. 
Each has got a little picnic set and hammock for chill times. Some oh, this is a nice little thing around your your statue. So you're big into gardening. I'm sensing a gardening theme. Oh, we got a little play area. Rec area. I'll play you in foosball. Look at me go. Did I get a goal? I don't think I can get a goal. All right. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, a cute little plaza right by your campsite. Oh, I wonder what will go here. Statues? Seems like a, like a, it's gonna be a sculpture garden or something. Interesting. Got a little arcade machine, more garden space. Some machines, so this is like a, this, oh no, it kind of zigzags. These paths. Where does this path go? Let's follow the path. Interesting. Okay, it goes to the garden, and then, oh, you go into the garden across the bridge. Got some bear statues. A well that matches the, the um, street path. Uh, let's go up here, actually. So this is the yellow district. Oh, this is a cute little play area. Cute little tiles. Is there a pastel one of these? A pastel one of these would be really cute. Like if it was full on light pastels, it would really make this area pop. I guess a cafe is gonna come in up here. We got some, so you're, are you, you must not be a time traveler. I'm getting a non time travel sense. Round here, okay, we got the mums. Oh, whoops. What's around here? Oh, I didn't see what villagers you have. Hold on. Oh, Canberra. Egbert. Mitzi. Twiggy. Sid is really cute. Sid's underrated. Judy. Sherry. Or Sherry. Sherb. A cutie. Classic. Klaus. And Willow. I never see Willow. I never see Willow. Interesting. Bacchus is awesome, isn't he? I kind of got went straight into lurk mode after raiding him the other night, but he's really a really chill person, a really great streamer. Just like fun to talk to and watch and listen to as well. Got like an infectious laugh. Wait, let's go up higher. Take me higher. He is really nice. I found Bacchus through Pumpkin Queen. Okay, so this is just like... So your island must have naturally had mums. This must be a mum island. Got a, a random tatami bed up here. Watching him stream is like voice chatting with a friend for sure. Plus he just started his island so you get to kind of see it... See it evolve. Which is always fun to like catch a streamer when they're starting an island. Love a lot of streamers, but DBD. I like DBD too. I don't venture out and watch a ton of DBD streamers, but there's a couple people that I like that stream it every so often. They kind of have tapered off though. Whose house is this? I want to see Willow. Is she home? Oh, this is Twiggy's house. I've seen Twiggy's house. Unfortunately, Twiggy has a replicant house. Like, Twiggy and I think Jitters have the same house with a like, different color scheme. I want to see Willow. Is Willow home? 
I know I'm kind of like meandering all over the place. She is... Okay, I'm nearby. I'm near Willow. DBD is strangely comforting to watch, even though it's really violent. Oh, she, she's not home, or she's asleep. Uh, a lot of people with DBD are just too sweaty. People take it too seriously. I'm not about the sweaty vibes, I'm just about the, like... Oh, shit. Drag, ha! Huh? I mean, it, it's like moderately... It's like moderately competitive. But I just, like, something about the rote, like, um, repetitive nature of the game is, like, kind of balmy to watch. Even though there's, like, screaming and stabby noises and it's generally pretty bloody. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, you must not be- I'm getting a non-time travel sense, which is fine, right? I respect non-time travelers. Because I am not a patient person, it's- I can't do it. I would have given up long ago if I couldn't time travel. Ooh, this is a cute- I didn't notice- I didn't realize there was a- It's a cute color variation on the stockings. I know you don't, TT. It blows my mind. Yeah, there's a tabletop tree, too. This is coming along. I'd like to come back and see it when it's got more stuff, too. See, like, compare it to this time. This is, like, classic Animal Crossing vibes, in my opinion. Giving me that, it's like throwbacky. It feels like Animal Crossing throwback moments. The big system kitchen. Oh, oh, oh. I, we done in here. You don't have the brooms? I have all the brooms. You need them. Oh, that reminds me. You just reminded me. I have to send Alex some stuff. If y'all want to put in item orders too, please feel free. To anyone lurking out there, uh, I do channel points redemptions, so I will order you any piece of Nook orderable furniture. Um, you just have to have channel points to redeem it. There's three levels. I think it's 300, 500, and 700 points. And yeah, for 300 points, it's any item between, what did I say? It's like 30,000? Yeah, 30,000 or less. 500 points is 30 to 99 thousand dollar items and 700 is for anything over 99 thousand. Oh, hey Santa But I will send you items because I have all the orderable stuff. I can't do crafting Or all the clothing, but I'll check and see if I have clothing if you want to submit that too All right, your plaza's cute. Let me write a little message on your board. Oh, wait. Ooh, messages from the future. I was wrong. Didn't get the toy day things. I can send you the toy day toys. Oh god, that's a bad and. Broom and dustpan in the natural color. You got it. Consider it done. Wanted to try, try 
time travel but accidentally saved. Yeah, the game will force you to save. There's nothing you can do about it, really. I could have typed this, but what's the fun in that? Damn, my, uh, my writing with a joystick's getting better, eh? Alright. Kirby with a gun. Where? Show me. Where that, where? thought it would be your flag. Got a pumpkin patch over here. Oh. Oh. Kirby with a gun. Got a, an orchard. In, oh my god. Oh my god, it's in, har it's harvest season. Orangeville. Got a beach tent. A little lounging area. Oh my god, you already have a golden cat. Cute. A beach kitchen? I guess... Oh. Actually, you know what? I don't need these, these, or these. So yeah, we'll toss something. I guess this will be like a little mini cafe. No sink. Oh, we got some empty space to run. Still haven't seen Willow. Maybe she went to bed. All right. We came down from there, right? We've already went up. We already went up there. Little peninsula. Oh my God, the peninsula is so square. Oh, you got the ever. I feel like a lot of people have the blue and white striped lighthouse. So many islands I visited to have that one. Did I come up here? Now I'm feeling like maybe I didn't come up here. Whose house is this? Twiggy. Yeah, we did. Okay, we did. My bad. Just circling. Uh, whose house? Oh, we got some gold there. Egbert. I really wanted to see Willow. Oops. All right, there's no bridge down here. We'll skip across. Did I see everything? Did I miss something? I feel like I missed something. Did I go? I didn't go in the top left corner at all. Yeah, let's go over there. Yeah, we didn't go on like the left side at all. Okay. I thought I could cut through there. Oh, I thought I could cut through there. Should have followed the leader. Okay, that goes to the airport. <sighs> Sid, let's talk to Sid. He's a goth little elephant. Are you the gadabout on everyone's mind? Not trying to be rude. Someone said we had an off-islander poking around and you look lost, Rockin'. I'm Sid, by the way. Anyway, now that we're introduced, I'll leave you be. Take care. Well, that was moderately polite. Let's go up here and see 
Sherb's little area. Oh no, we went there. We saw that. Okay. Let's go up here. We saw that. So Sherb's house. Oh, Sherb's house was down here. There's Willow. Willow. Oh my god, she's yellow. Full yellow. You found Gulliver. Nice. She's intense. Yellow and purple. Like a little Wario color scheme up in here. Her little pom-pom sweater. She's kind of cute. If you like yellow. Alright, cutie. See you later. Alright, you had some... I didn't see the cards thing. Okay, we were up here. We just didn't didn't really go on the beach or anything like that. You got some trash on the beach. All right, all right. Your hidden beach is still very hidden back here. That hidden beach. Here, we'll go down to the west beach. You have tide pools. Oh my god, so lucky. Love tide pools. Wish I could have tide pools of my own. No tide pools in indigo. They're so pretty. This has got it. This is one of the prettier rock formations. You could do something really cool up here. Trash on the beach. All right, like to lift weights on the beach. You got a muscle beach in progress. Always down for a muscle beach. Gullivar. Our little beach spa area, I guess. And ooh, you have a left-handed pier. All right, I think we've seen everything. Did I, do you have more than one house? It's just one house, right? Oop. So I used to go into that one. Yeah, just one character house. Saw the orchard, we saw the right side, we just did the left. Yeah, we've seen everything. Are your shops open? Let me go check your Ab or wait. Oh, Abel's is closed. I'm blocked. Okay, thank you. I'm going to pop into Nooks just so I can hear the closing theme. Because I find it so cute. Alright, did I pass it? Where is it? Oh, it's right here. This part of the island seems really big. Got a weird bamboo thing. Oh, let's check your wallpapers. That's what I need to be doing when I go to people's towns. Pink. Is that red? That looks so pink to me. Pink paint, blue paint. Black iron parquet. Do I have that? I don't think I do. I think I have all these. Do I have aqua tile? Green paint? Oh, I'm looking for the soothing tea room wall, which is like the white gray one. If anyone has that. I wanted to see if that would work in my art gallery building. I right, I don't actually don't think I guess I can get this just in case I don't have it. No worries, Alex. You gotta shower, gotta feel good so you can truly relax. Oh, Whoopsie. Alright. I'm assuming you... Here, I'm gonna buy this for you. Welcome.
welcome back. You've never gotten Gullivar, Junior? Oh my god, so unlucky. There's a sky blue or whatever color that was deluxe washer that was in your shop. And that concludes my tour. I had a blast. Your town is beautiful. Charming. You've got an affinity for gardening. This is Little Corn's Island. You're a big Rose fan. I can tell. Oh, I meant to stay seated a little longer. There we go. I see lots of started projects. That's how the beginning of every island is. You're just like, what do I do? How do I start this? So you just start putting stuff down. I'm assuming some of it was probably just to get the three stars so you could get terraforming and stuff. I have not been to Haley's yet. Not in a minute. Anyway, thanks for having me. I'm heading out. Appreciate the good vibes. Oh, best, oh, no, gotta go this way. Ah. It's been a pleasure. To the airport. Hope you enjoy that deluxe washer. Hope you needed it. Yeah, Haley, are you in the queue? I don't think you officially joined. Oh, Junior. Actually, you're behind Junior. Junior's next. Junior, am I visiting your island proper or am I going to a dream? Take it easy, little corn. Thanks for having me again. All right, Junior, you just let me know how I'm visiting. And I'll come over as soon as I hear from you. I'm gonna go now. All right, take care, little corn. Thanks for popping in. p.m. That's getting late. If you got school or you got work in the morning, definitely head to bed. You have a dodo. All right. The Q link, you just type exclamation point join. And it'll add you to the queue. There you go. You're in. And you're actually number two because I think I just am taking a little corn out now. So that means uh, you're in front of Haley because Haley didn't join. You don't have school for a week. Nice. Still out on vacation. Beautiful stuff. That's why you've been putting so much time in on your island. All right, let me... Oh... Drop some more of these green mums. I have more green mums. Free to a good home. Oh shit, this was just a little petal. There we go. Alright, we got Haley in. It's good. And I also was able to regain my five star island status. Alright, we'll sell these. We don't actually need them. I just wanted to make sure I was cataloging. Uh, and then we'll drop these. Come back for him. We got so many chores to do. Oh, before I go over, uh, before Junior gives me his uh, dodo code, I changed some things, Alex. Just want to show you. Oh, it's Swanky. What's up, Swanky? Shout out to Indigo. Mary, am I right? Hmm, is that Mary feeling a little stale? Something feels off. What do you think? Time to switch things up, or is Mary fresh and relevant as ever? You know what? We're gonna go with... Oh! We're gonna go with Drag Race Canada's Sissy. 
So, Sissy, did I hear that right? That's right. Sissy. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Thanks for your help, Swanky. I need to get him to quit calling me, like, Swanky, though. They just said something, and I just went with it. Hey, Chloe. Welcome. How you doing tonight? We are doing viewer island visits, if you're interested. Uh, but yeah, I added a little pier up here on my big lake. A fishing pier. We're going to put some fishing stuff on it. Just a tiny little thing. I wish I could get rid of the little the land on the side of it, but I don't know how people do that. They must they have to be photoshopping it when I see it on Instagram. Oh my god, my rock form there? That's not gonna fucking work. Gross. Got it. Alright, I'll be over in just a sec. Let me murder this rock. I need coconuts. I need a coconut. But chips, fishing rods there. Oh, Sherb, you're in my way, bud. I could do that. I have one, I have it over by the campsite, but it, it's kind of on the beach, just sticking out a little bit. It doesn't necessarily fit there. Yeah, the rack that holds the rods. That would be cute. I was thinking like a little, not like the big giant chips fishing cooler, but like a tiny little cooler. And like a foldable chair or something. Um, you know what? Just so this doesn't appear in the same place. I actually did finally decide to do a transparent tile. So we'll put it where the rock was. See something else that changed? Yep, the fence here. I got rid of a tree here. Um, the lake shape. I got rid of the little area behind the lake, so it's just like a tiny little sliver of land here. Um, what else? The gallery is fully upgraded. It's just a big empty house right now, but... We do have the gallery up and going. Um, not much else. There was a couple changes. Oh, I did a couple changes up by my house. Sorry, Junior, I'm coming. I just want to show Alex this real quick. I did, um, there's like a little bit more land here. I just kind of brought that in a little bit. And then I made a bigger yard space here and got rid of some of that lake and just made it smaller. I think, was that all I did? I think that's about it. All right, we're good. On my way. Is that new? Yeah, the little yard by my house is definitely new. It used to just be like more water with like one little space to squeeze by on the side. All right, I haven't been to Sakurin Bone forever. Yeah, since I took the gallery, like, the gallery took up that big empty space, I wanted some, like, just to open it up somewhere else. Oh, and yeah, I added that little seating area on the other side of the lake on the way up to the graveyard. That was new. With the benches and stuff. All right, here I come.
Here I come. So we'll take Junior off the queue. That leaves Frosty and Haley. Yeah, I just felt like doing, like, I don't like doing big overhaul changes, so I try to, um, pace myself and do little bits at a time. I feel like works better for me. Not much has changed, mainly the area where your house is. I find it too overwhelming when I try to change, like, massive things, massive, massive areas at one time. You want me to draw? I can do a little martial drawing. I can do my best. I probably won't spend like 30 minutes on it, which is what it would take to actually make it look good and cute. But I'll I'll make a cute little like martial um, scritchy scratch on your your board there. Results may vary though. Hello! I, am I free to roam? You're new to this game so you don't have much? I don't mind. I don't mind checking out fresh new islands. Alright, we will... We'll just start this way on your little tile area. We'll just kind of do a clockwise motion. Do whatever. All right. First off, let's check the map. I haven't been here in a while, so... <gasps> Kurt's here. Oh my god, we have to visit Kurt if he's awake. You got three. Oh, two of them never made houses. Melanie and Kelly. Mystery Islanders. You got some serious cuties here. Marshall, Sherb, Judy, Anka, Dom, Cookie, Kurt, Maple. You got a lot of cuties. Not a huge Colton fan personally, and Jay. Well, the rest are like solid A plus cuties. Hey, Rufio. Awesome. We'll get to your island soon ish. You're in position number three. This is Junior's, yes. Wide open spaces. Breathe in, breathe out. You want them out? Who, Colton? Wait, whose was this? Cookie? That's your orchard space over here. Campsite. Your peninsula. Damn, look at this big rock thing you have. With a tide pool. This is a cool rock formation. You could put like a pretty nice thing on here. It'd be like a cute little beachfront cafe. Damn, you got a big one back here too. Rosie or Tangy? Uh, I would choose Rosie. If I had the choice between the two, it would be Rosie. Tangy? I don't really... I don't know. Tangy doesn't do much for me. Alright, the high ground's just kind of chilling up there. Just some trees and stuff. Red's here. Oh yeah, I remember you mentioning red. Let's go see what red has real quick. Is it a leaf? That's part of it. That's part of it. I don't know, I'm just- the orange theme stuff I'm not really- not really into. Um... I can't- I don't think this is legit, but I kind of want to buy it anyway. I 
we are building an art gallery after all, so. Pleasure doing business. It's very square, this little area. Are you gonna put two staircases here? It seems like it's missing a staircase. Double scare staircase down to the beach would be pretty cool. Your, your, like, upper area is so big. I made mine really narrow and tiny, which I kind of regret that my island is so flat. Kurt's house. Kurt. Oh my god. He's, he's crafting. You visit in Sakurinbo? Pleasure to meet you. I'm Kurt. Always happy to greet a stranger. We got all the modern amenities here. Feel free to use them. Thanks, bud. What you crafting? What are you doing? I'm making a fruit basket. It's tough, but I got ages of patience. Reckon you need that to be into DIY, sis. Wait, you know how to make a fruit basket already? Thanks. I'll take it. Anything for you, Kurt. Oh, I just love his little under the overpass house. With KK Comrade playing. It's just such a weird, unique house. I don't know. I'm a big Kurt fan. Alright, you said your house was different? The area around your house? So we'll go check your house out. Ooh, I like the waterfall going into the ocean in the back. Why did I never think to do that? That's really pretty. Oh, you wanted that snow crunchy sound up in here. Oh, it actually leaves little footprints too. Cute. And it's got little like tracks on it. Oh, so satisfying. Kitchen in progress. Literally just a fridge. <laughs> yeah, at least you got somewhere cold to store your food. That's what's important. You must buy all prepackaged foods. Alright, we got a replica of like Raymond's house, it looks like. Looks very official. Very interesting. Is this like a travel? It seems like travel agency. Huh. Very quiet in here. Yeah, the floor and wall in the office are nice. It's a good solid combo. Oh, this is interesting. Like a... So an intro, I would have never thought to pair this tile with the like picket fence wall, but I could see it working strangely, which is weird. Kind of reminds me of, what am I thinking of? Gives me like 16 bit game vibes, kind of roll with that. Like earthboundy theme or something in there. Go like bright, pastel, and colorful. Oh, the wall's not staying. I don't know what's up with this room. This looks like a custom wallpaper that's just a solid color. It's your storage area. We've all my my basement is also loaded with junk storage. HHA hates me. Ooh. Posters of babies. You don't have this little baby anymore? You got rid of, uh, was this Teddy? No more Teddy. No more ketchup. Two Raymond posters. 
the halo over the bed's cute. I never thought of that. Flurry, 2-2. Two, two. Uh, Kiki and Lala, Sherb. Did you get some of these for me? Before they cut us off from cataloging posters? I feel like I have all these posters. Cute room. Yeah, that snow floor is really satisfying. Now I just want to use it somehow. All right, we're going to hop into your little water area. Yeah, I like the waterfall going into the ocean. That, like, infinity pool look. We got a big, like, bridge walkway type situation going on up here. Nothing up here, really. No tide pools on this rock. I'll never not be jealous of tide pools. You got a lot of big rock formations, it seems like. Colton is out of here. Got a cut off river. There's no way I'm resetting. Oh my god, I could never. Sunken cost. I'll be there shortly. We got the massive rolling flower fields. Looks like you're about to get a... Oh no, that's not a mum. Okay, did we... We didn't go over here, though. Oh wait, this is just the other way to the houses. The zen fence looks really cool in the snow. Another cutoff river. Pride flag. Axe. What you you need an axe. I have an axe on me. Oh, you're roaming around with an axe. To try and scare me. Got it. One little lonely ball on this whole beach. This ain't no dead by daylight. Back up. Alright, did we... <laughs> yeah, I don't think we went over here. We did go over here, though. Uh-oh. So I can't let you finish the word. I gotta run. Yeah, I think I saw everything. There wasn't really a bunch to look at that was new. I like your little, like, stepping stones that go off the main path. Probably find some really cute stepping stones in, like, Abel's or something if you didn't want to make them yourself. It's like you weren't a fan of your right river. You just completely axed it. Oh, there you are. All right, I think I've seen everything. I'm not gonna run through your flowers, though I'm very tempted since you're chasing me with an ax. I will be super respectful. Yeah, we already saw all this stuff. Okay, well, I'm gonna head home. Your shop is closed. Oh. Oh look, my old post is still there.
That's not a very good looking axe. This is for you, Junior. Since you love axe murder so much. So violent. There you go. Move it. You can't keep me up in here. Impossible. World's birthday is coming soon, January 5th. <gasps> he won't be on my island. Oh no. Because I'm he's my rotator. Thanks for having me, Junior. You can't block me from leaving. The killer standing at the exit never works in Dead by Daylight. So I'm using Rolled as my rotating villager. So I can fulfill the amiibo villager requests of people. We got Kid Knives, Lou, Muddy Mango, Kaliwago, Kaliwoggles, Cola Poppy, Kirsty, and JoJo Mini. They wanted villagers, and I said I'd get them for them. And I already had Rold's photo, so. Alright, so, Junior's Island is done. Next, we have Frosty. Frosty, you still around? If you're still around, let me know if you want me to do Dream or Dodo Code, and I'll come whenever you're ready. Thank you for being so patient. Dodo, all right. Sounds good. Let's see, fruit basket, we'll just drop that here. Not that anyone will need that. Okay, you are, you're already ready, all right. I'll be right over. I'm coming. Oh wait, before I go, hold on, before I go, I need to send some items for Alex and Lou. Alex, you wanted wall-mounted TV 50 inch silver and blue and Lou you wanted the broom and dustpan natural silver Got it. Thank you for being patient and waiting however many days. Three days? Two days? Twitch says two days. <laughs> Thanks for waiting two days. Hey. 
There you go. Two TVs sent. Then we have a broom and dustpan in natural color. Tulu. Coming right up. Done. You only had to wait 41 minutes. <laughs> Not too shabby. All right, Frosty, we're on our way. Thank you for your patience again. Let's see what you're up to over here. Another new island, perhaps? I think you said you're new. Let's see what cute babies you got going on here. You're welcome, Lou. Oh, should I hit local? Oops. All right. I want the plane model. <laughs> Maybe this will help me get it. I wonder if dodo codes count as going out towards my total so I can get my plane. Only two. Oh, you're a newbie, new baby Christmas island. Oh my God. All the love and support. You got a huge Animal Crossing community out here that is willing to help you out. It's a very helpful, open, welcoming community. Elfland. I guess I should have came with a gift. I don't really have anything on me. I can give you whatever money I have in my pockets. Oh my god, so this, this island is like... Like less than a week old. Oh my god. It's gonna be like going for real going back in time. All right, everyone. Exhale. We're going back to March 2020. When the game was brand new, fresh, except there's going to be snow. Going to have a dirt plaza. We're going to have a tent. Resident services. Oh, no, you have your cranny. Okay, you've been... Oh, you do still have a dirt plaza. <gasps> Charming. They should let us choose whether we get to keep dirt plaza or go to brick because people could make a really interesting rustic island if they got to keep their like dirt plaza resident services like you could totally make that work as an aesthetic we need a new nook upgrade yeah i would agree with that something we need we definitely need like a building upgrade or just something a little extra hello I come bearing, um, I have a coconut for you if you need a coconut. And I have 63,000 bells on me, which I'm going to give you right away. I wish I had more, I'd give you more, but I didn't think to bring gifts because I'm bad. All right, well, let's see. You've got Renee. She's a newbie and she's extremely cute. I actually love her. Damn, you got two really great starters. Check these out. Oh my god, that's like some lottery jackpot type starters right there. I would have been super thrilled if these two were my starters. Alright, let's talk to Renee. She's cute as hell. With her pierced ears, she's like kind of punky and goth. Kind of edgy. I don't know you, do I? You from Off Island? Hi, I'm Renee. And you're JJ, right? I heard someone mention you. So, welcome to the Elf Land. Don't be shy because you're not from here. Everyone's super chill. More shops would be great. Give the travel, give Kix a shop. 
Give LaBelle a shot. Let's see who your other ones are going to be. Clyde. Oh, wait. Your other villager's home. Let's go in here and talk to Sprocket. Sprocket's got a really cool house. Oh, but it's going to be Starter House Sprocket. It's not going to be all weird and different. Hey, uh... Did I scare you? My bad. Sometimes I get a little too pumped up, and then I get a little too loud. You're here visiting, right? That's so cool. My name's Sprocket. Kind of new here, but I'd love to have an off-island workout, buddy. Among Us is Friday night. Yeah, if we can pull it. I, didn't, I had a hard time keeping a group of 10 for more than like an hour. But that was like the day after Christmas. So that probably had something to do with it. But yeah, I plan on doing it Friday night like usual this week. Since last week got kind of thrown out. Like, thrown all off. Twiggy. We got another Twiggy. We already saw an island with a Twiggy on it. And Fauna. Okay. Oh my god, so new. The drop boxes. Would have played just fell asleep. It's all good. We, we got a, like a good hour of 10 people games. Maybe a little longer. It was still fun. We just had to do a lot of one imposter games towards the end. I didn't get imposter until I, there were one imposter games. Look at this tiny little baby rock. Alright, this beach is, must be like the blocked off private beach. Do you have tide pools? I'm not seeing tide pools. Looks like your island is a natural windflower island. Hello! The snow crunch. Oh, you know what? Maybe you don't have these either. I can give you these. I can just craft more. Actually, do you need a ladder and a vaulting pole, Frosty? I'll leave them for you. I don't know if if you've gotten them yet. But if you haven't, there you go. They're all yours. I'll just kind of wander where I can. Oh, you don't need them. Check your shop. Oh my god, old school. Have you played Minecraft Dungeons? I have not. I've just played Java. I don't think that... I don't think you can do the Dungeons mode with just Java. Maybe you can. I don't know. Alright, I think I have all these colors for these. I'm really wanting that soothing tea room wall. I don't even know if it'll work in the um, gallery, but I want to try it to see. Oh, thank you. I thought you needed them been so long since I've been in the beginning of the game, I can't remember when you get stuff. But thank you. Alright. Oh my god, it's so natural. Let's go in your little house here. See what's going on. Frosty's home. Day two. Okay, damn. You've been busy. This is where the love is so far. Damn. This is pretty cute for like having the game for only a couple days. Shit. Got a musician, music buff.
we are not in rhythm, but it's okay. Oh, even keeping it clean up in here. Yeah, it's very nice. The, uh, the rug with this floor, I would have never thought that actually works, but with like the chocolate brown wall and the dark, like the different tones of wood, it actually works, strangely enough. Like you wouldn't think ever that like a tiger print floor with a lavender rug would work in any context, but it actually kind of did work there. I'm, I'm actually surprised. Oh, you got a full, full museum up here. Fully founded. Alright, you got some clay sitting around. Some snow boys. Can I talk to your snow boys? Tell your friends this. Don't let the snowflake goodness end here. Make new snowflakes whenever you can. Noted. Alright, got a little fishing hole back here. Ooh, you got a big rock peninsula. Jealous. I didn't get one of these in the back of my island. The rock formations on my island were actually pretty disappointing. I see you're a fellow non-tide pooler. I feel your pain on that. You may not even realize it yet. Suck it, snow boys. They're hard. I have a method that works pretty well for my island. But now that I the snowballs don't spawn there, it probably would be a lot harder for me. Alright, it seems like it's a Gulliver kind of day. Gulliver's everywhere today. Let's just go in the tent just because we can. I just want to go inside of a tent resident services again because cause we ha I haven't been inside one forever. It's actually really cute. Hey! Taking a sip. You got it, regular Jay. Good old ice water. The most delicious beverage. The tent's so cute. I mean, come on. It's got charm. <gasps> Only for Elfland residents. Oh, can I pull out money on your ATM? We can. Oh, no, we can't. Damn. Really? Huh. Okay. Well, bummer. Um, I don't have anything else I can do or give you. I would give you more money if I could. We won't talk to Tom, though. Sorry, Tom. Alright, I think we've seen everything your baby island has to offer. No, actually, we didn't go up in the top. We'll just, like, kind of wander in the top area real quick. We didn't cross the river up here. Except briefly. We'll cross the, the river, climb the cliff. We gotta go to the high ground at least once. Even though it's, it's unsettled. There's something refreshing about just an island that's pure wilderness. It's like, I've almost forgotten what it's like. Oh, the secret beach. Up here in the top right corner. Tiny little island up here. You've been busy making snow boys. Alright, now we've seen all the bits and the goodness. I'm trying to think, like, what would I do on this island? Seems like it would be a river town. It'd be really interesting to put, like, a really cool like line of houses by the river you know like put a bunch of the houses in the the like middle area 
here. You could have like a nice natural area up here. You could have like a commercial area down in the bottom. But having like a nice line of like houses in this little valley area would be really cool. So many weeds makes you upset. Early times, Haley, early times. All right, yep, we are gonna head out. Uh, I'd love to come back and, and check in on your island another time. Thanks for having me over, Frosty. Good luck on your quest. On building up Elfland. Oh, no worries, don't worry. You don't have to say sorry. Honestly, it's all good. New islands, old islands, they're all worthy of visiting. Uh, it's it's actually, to me, I mean, there may not be a lot to really look at, but it's still kind of refreshing to see the game in its early stages again. Because so many islands, especially people who want like viewer island visits, are just a completely different thing. So to see an island that's just like day two or whatever, day three, well, no, first week, we'll just say first week. It's actually, to me, it's interesting. Now, if I had like 10 islands that looked like that in a single night, I'd probably be a little bored, but I still think it's cute to see. All right, Haley, I think you're up next. You are. Are we doing dream? Ember, or are we doing in-person Ember? What are we doing over here? Oh, you gotta go to bed, Junior. Good night. You had a naturally spawning, spawning heart lake. Nice. In person, yay. I feel like I haven't been to your town in person in a while. All right, you just let me know when it's open, whether it's a dodo code for friends or whatever. Oh, Boris, what do you want to say, Boris? What's on your mind? You are not. You are not leaving. Hell no, you're not. Not acceptable, not allowed. What am I going to do with you, kiddo? I guess just stay in here. Guess I ain't moving. You talk this old pig into lingering around. Good. Don't you friggin' dare, bud. Friend request? Sure, that must be someone I just visited. Todd? This must be Frosty. Five days ago. I'll accept your friend request, Todd. All right. In person waiting on. Oh. I must have, uh. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and put a little path here. Oh god, I forgot. I won't let you put one where the mailbox is. I have to move the mailbox. Where am I even going to put the mailbox for this? Hmm. I didn't really think about that.
gates are open. Alright, I'm coming. I wish you could change the style of your house more. I miss having like the modern exterior like you could have a new leaf. Because I would have way more of those in this town than just these plain triangle roof buildings. So Rufio, you're up next. If you're still around, you are after Haley. Once we leave Haley's island, we'll be able to go to yours. All right, here we go. And if there's anyone else out there that wants me to visit, feel free to add yourself to the queue. Even if I've already been there. You know, the one, I really just wish I could change my airport color. If I couldn't do anything else, if they didn't give us any buildings, like, okay, you reached five stars, you can change your airport color. You can, yeah, I would just like that. I want blue. I feel like it just makes sense. Maybe they'll give it like the year anniversary. Or maybe my hopes are just too high. Probably that. Here we come to Ember. What has changed in Ember? Oh, first things first. I don't know how I'm gonna pull off a Marshall drawing with three colors, but we'll try. Oh, excuse me, my mouse. I flipped it. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna try our best. We'll just go with the most basic image of Marshall. Oh, hold on. Take me to it. All right, sorry, Haley, hold on. We got Marshall up. We're going to draw him here in a minute. Let's start with that. I'm going to start with that. Give me a little more time to spend on it. Oh, look at this. Scoot. Haley's paths are iconic. They are. There's one of my hearts. Can't really see it. I did that. Such a cute island. Damn, you got some lots of messages. So it erased a bunch of my old messages. I guess I time traveled too much and accidentally just like let them go. Alright, so we're not gonna be able to do full body, so let's focus on like the head. Yo! 
Katoma, thank you for the host. How you doing tonight? I am doing, oop. I am doing viewer island visits. If you have an island you'd like me to check out, I'll do in person or uh, dream. Haley requested that we do a drawing of Marshall. So we're starting with that. Finish it up, Genshin Dailies, before you head off to bed. Nice. If y'all have time, Katoma is a streamer. I always recommend that we... Uh, Chroma is also a streamer, by the way. But um, if y'all have time, click their names. And go to their page and check them out. Katoma Gaming and Chromathica. I don't know if Chroma's still around. Chroma might still be around. Oh my god, I can't get this inner ear. Alright. Have you hit me up next time for an island visit? Oh, you haven't touched it since Halloween? Fair. Fair enough. Oh my god. Trying to actually draw well with a joystick is going to be a mess. We'll just do what we can. Doesn't have to be perfect. I know. It's the pressure I put on myself. Alright, we'll do his little hair. No nose. Let's do his eye. Well, no, let's do his mouth. I think the mouth will help define the rest of his face a little bit better than like trying to do the eyes. So the mouth is kind of like straight in the middle. Then we need his little blushy cheeks. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, it's so hard to do it on this side. That's good enough. We'll make it a little bit more. And then we're going to do... Well, let's do his little vest. So from the edges of his mouth, he just kind of does that like that, and then his little belly. Oop, nope. And then he's got like a white shirt. We're gonna have to, I guess, do that in black black outline we'll do just like that and I want to make him waving so we'll do how am I gonna do a little waving arm That too long? No, I don't think that's too long. Maybe a little long. And then he's got his little nub. Let 
Loving it so far. I think it's pretty cute. I'm doing a great job. <laughs> Thanks, Haley. I'm doing, uh, I feel like it's pretty cute. So even if I don't see all the stuff from the island, we can still say we made a really cute Marshall pick. Oh, wait, we want to do old buttons. Such chill. It is chill tonight. We need to do his little tail off to the side here. I'm gonna have to move him off the screen just so I can see the rest of this. So. We have to do a little like swirly. <laughs> oh man, this new Chroma Haley uh, rivalry is killing me. <laughs> I know it's out of love. All right, there's this little tail, precious. All right, we just need to do his his eyes. Should I do his normal eyes or should I do like cute little like that? I'm thinking that. Hey, witch witch. Yeah, I'm thinking those eyes. I know those aren't his normal eyes, but it's easier and it's cuter. We can make them like a little more like heavy. How you doing tonight, Witch Witch? Raymond! You want me to do Raymond what on your island? I can do that. If you want to join the queue, I have uh, someone else is after Haley. Rufio, if Rufio is still here, Rufio might be lurking out there. I'll do a roll call for Rufio once we get a little closer. Oh, shit. That's not the color I want. Cool. We can definitely do a a visit and come draw on your board. Make his hair a little more iconic. Fix his little rosy cheek over here. And I think That's pretty much it. Hey, Dylan. How are you tonight?
All right. Let's see. What do I want to write? Do I want to write anything? We'll just write QT, QT. Actually, wait. There. What if you drew Olivia at mine? I can do all kinds of drawings. There you go. Marshall is now on your board. Okay, we're done. Marshall is not a twink. What's going on up in here? <laughs> Drawing twinks on people's boards. It came out pretty good. No worries, Dylan. I know 2020 has been a year. You can roam. Okay, I'll roam. I'll roam my little heart out. First things first, we need to figure out where Marshall landed. He's always right by you. Of course he is. Yeah, I'll do more board drawings for y'all. I can you can enter the queue if you want me to tour your island or if you just want to redeem a board drawing I can just run over there and do the drawing and head out either works for me <sighs> so many well I I don't know why just make sure that he never gets erased Ooh, cute boy whoa it's you JJ did you really come all this way to see me they call me Marshall Von Ember now, but I'll never forget our days together. Come by and hang out anytime, okay? Drawing twinks, can you draw bears instead? Yes. I should do a Kurt drawing on my island. I will draw a bear a bear. Alright, we'll go in your house. Yeah, the little Marshall tile is really cute. You're welcome to wander. Oh, it's a new, oh, it's one I haven't been to. Nice. This is a very colorful room. I don't think it's much different. I know you probably didn't change a bunch since I've last been here, but. The color scheme is like very like jewel tone. We got pinks and turquoise and blue and white. Did someone say bear drawings? Oh yeah. Kitchen is pretty much the same. I don't see, actually I don't see any changes in here. Is there any change? It's just lots of things tying colors together like the green toaster with the green dish rack. Got blue in multiple places. Blue up there, blue pot, teal. 
Um, stove, teal stove doesn't really tie in with anything else. Red microwave, and of course red is everywhere, pink. This egg table, I can't believe you actually use the egg table. I have not seen a situation where that really works. I guess a carrot cake makes the most sense though. Even the red rim on the dishes in the dish rack makes sense with that colorful room and the colorful pot rack. All right, I think this was your, this was like a green room. Oh no, you changed it. I, that's right, It's this is like your storage area with the stars and the sci-fi. It's toasty and warm from the space heater. I haven't seen anyone use Bunny Day stuff past Bunny Day. Yeah. It's just too much. I'm trying to think of any of the Bunny Day stuff that's like... That's probably the cutest Bunny Day piece, you know? This is the same as last time I saw it. I like the bamboo touches in here, though. I think going further with that bamboo theme with the red would be interesting. Like more bamboo. There's so much bamboo craftable furniture you could kind of put in here to go with the stuff. And like the bamboo wall decoration. Yeah. You've got a very colorful aesthetic. All right, what's well, down in the basement? Oh yeah, your toy room. Yeah, this room's cute. I know the, the upstairs is my favorite because I've seen it a few times, um, but this room is cute. Little pink and blue is also a color scheme I kind of enjoy personally. Oh, let's let the puppy sleep. We're turning on all the gadgets, except the pups. The pups need to chill. Yeah, I like that room. Playroom, it's cute. I wish you could customize like wooden furniture to be pink. I know there's like one set you can, the really basic set, but like the other stuff. I feel like there should just be more customization options across the board. They're gonna give us less furniture. Yeah, this is my favorite room in your house, for sure. It's the most composed and kind of like limited color palette, which kind of works in its favor, I feel like. Like the pink, red, rich, brown, chocolate brown works really well. Your little office area. Plus the music in here is really chill and nice. I feel like this room would look really nice with like a bookshelf. Like a bookshelf maybe over here. Like a dark brown bookshelf or something. I, yeah, more custom design slots is like a 100% needed thing. You have a Eunice poster? Yeah, I thought we were going to get like 20 custom slots per person. I didn't, I didn't ever think when we first got the game that it would be for the entire town. We'd get like 50 or whatever it is. Who's the dog poster? That is Walker. Yeah, that's Walker. Yeah, this room's cute. The chocolate wallpaper is really cute. I haven't found a circumstance in which like I could use it, but I, it really works well there. Ooh, it's snowing. You're gonna have so many flowers. 
Did it just start? Because none of these are sparkling yet. Ooh, it's like heavy snow too. Campsite with the pumpkin patch. And a little baby tent. Yeah, this is a nice little campsite. Got the smoker, kiln, and wood burning stove. Keeps people toasty. Rope fence. Keeps it rust. <clears throat> Excuse me, keeps it rustic. I feel like these mushroom lamps are new. Your little club is still popping off over here. Club Ember. This uh, flooring is interesting. It's like a wrought iron but snowy kind of thing. Almost looks like a um, one of those grates you'd see around like a tree on a city sidewalk or something. Hmm, interesting. It actually pairs really well with the pumpkin carriage. Alright, his little area is the same. I don't think this area has changed either. This is new. Kind of weird right here. I feel like you should just chop down some of that bamboo and make this a nice L shape. This is filling me with anxiety because it goes against my path making ethos. Or should I say it pathos because I'm pathological about it. Oh my god, memorials. Lolly, Nate. So you got Nate's picture, but Nate's Oh, Nate's still here. Okay, got your little stargazing area. Sci-fi zone. And of course the flower field. The rolling meadow. We got the blue and white striped lighthouse as well. Hi. Let's go. This is like your little fire pit area. Oh man, how am I yawning? It's nowhere near my new bedtime. Oh, you got a fossil over here. All right, this beach looks pretty much the same. Your little wreck area. Let's go down here. Love some good popcorn. Let's get all this stuff going. Putting in work. You've been hard at work. It's like a little baby amusement park, essentially. Snacks and a ride. I wish they had more theme park rides. They just gave us one. When I know for a fact they could just take the merry-go-round from Pocket Camp and bring it over. This area is, what is this, like a honeymoon? It seems almost like honeymoon-esque. We got an arcade over here, so another little game area. The the sidewalk kind of reminds me of like chiclets, which is like a candy. It's like gum, isn't it? it? Reminds me of like chiclets gum pieces, like kind of rounded, smooth looking tile almost. It looks candy like. It gives it definitely gives me like a sweets kind of vibe. 
Yeah, they're like, um, they're like gum. I'm pretty sure they're like gum that comes in a little, they're almost like, um, what's the thing I could compare them to the, the easiest? They're like, here, maybe I can just Google a picture of them. Chicklets, gum. They come in all different colors, but it's just more like the the look of it, the smoothness of it, and kind of the like soft, perfect edges. They've got like that shine that makes them look very uniform in a way like candy does. So this isn't, it's not the best picture of them because they're all like rainbow colored. But this is why, I don't know. It, I don't think it may not even be like an accurate reference point, but. Chiclet style gum. Kind of gives me, it definitely like gives me a candy land feeling this path. Anyway, chiclets. You don't know what to do with some areas, so you just leave them and never touch them. Got your little flower bed over here. It's gum. It's a gum. Yeah, they kind of look like square sprees, but they're gum. They have like a hard, sweet candy shell, though. Like a dissolvable sweet candy shell on them. I haven't had gum in forever, these damn braces. Your little cafes coming along. I don't know if a ton has changed. Your little pizza oven's still operating. Get some espresso going. Your boardwalk. It's nothing really down here, though. Kind of feels like this is a stage of some kind. And you could have... This would be like a cute little wedding vignette. You could put like a little wedding archway here from the wedding event. Some like, you know, chairs facing towards the archway and like a little podium. Make like a little wedding scene. Some flower um, displays. Kind of feels like what well, that's what that's made for to me. Oh, you never did the wedding event? <gasps> oh no! I'm gonna get Carlos with his little his little red hat. <laughs> he looks pretty cute in that old getup. All right, you got some lilies of the valley up in here. Never did the wedding event. I uh, I think I got all the stuff from it. I'm not, honestly not sure. I feel like I did. All right, we went up there. Yeah, we went up there. Got your gym still up here, kicking. Oh, this looks new. Little romantic getaway type thing. here. Let's go down here. Your flowers are corded off very well. Oh, you got a little bottle over here. I don't know if you need it. It's right by your brother's house. Yeah, the pathing is nice. I was saying it reminds me of candy. I feel like you could really lean into the candy aesthetic 
and make your town like very sweet and cutesy. That's what I would go for, you know? Like, really colorful lamps, candy accents. It'd be really cute to make like a gingerbread type design somewhere. Candy core, yes, candy core. Also, hey, Kinky. It's like everyone's kind of gone to bed. Yeah, all the most of the villagers are in bed. Yeah, candy. That's the feel, the general feel I get from your island. Candyland. All right, the museum. Look at all those lilies of the valley. You got your little music area that I just completely breezed by. It's got all the goods. I wish I could actually sing. Yo! Bunny Day. Actually, Bunny Day furniture would work with candy core. Surprisingly. Hey yo, thank you for the raid. Appreciate that. What were you up to tonight? Let's give you a shout out. If y'all aren't following Heyo, you should check Heyo out. I think the last thing I saw you playing was Fuser. Were you playing that again? Welcome on in. You were playing Fuser. Welcome, Heyo. Welcome, Raiders. Come in, kick up your feet, get cozy. We're doing visitor, uh, viewer island visits. More fuser, nice. Got a little... This, so this almost seems... This opposing brick. It's throwing me for a loop. DLC every week? Oh, for real? Every week? Damn. That's some good support. And Nintendo could learn a thing or two. Let's hit the gong. Satisfying. Alright, I think we've seen everything. Is there an area I missed? Who's, oh, Sherb. Yeah, we saw Sherbs because he has the little baby pool. Every week. I mean, it would be cool if it was just like, here's a new item. Because they used to do like street pass items and stuff. Back in the old days. We could only be so lucky. I like how you have stuff clustered around the river. Like all your shops and stuff. Everything does seem kind of driven to be close to the river except for some of your like that house cluster in your house up in the top it's very clustered and then there's like points all spread out yeah like street pass items would be a really cool thing to bring back that would i know there's not really like a there hasn't been a point to anything like that because of covid you know kind of limiting in-person like boosts and interest in the game like in-person features street pass was like honestly one of the coolest features of new leaf i loved like just carrying my ds around and then checking it when i got home to see if i passed anyone and and like picked up their house it was so nice it was a really cool feature It would flip one week if they would really just release like a plate of pizza. They have some New Year's food items that you might be interested in. I don't think I can order them right now, but I might be able to show them to you. They have sparkling cider, 12 grape dish, uh, Berliner, and New Year noodles. Do you have any paintings you can give me? I'm sure I have some paintings at home. I can... I don't know if the, I think most of them are fake. The food items are cute. We need more food items, honestly. 
We really haven't gotten a lot of food items. Got a little martial worship area here. The cider, I know. I didn't bring it with me. I have one already. You can like cheers. It's so cute. All right, Haley, I think I'm going to head out. You have some new stuff, though. Like, obviously, Marshall's little area is precious. I can't remember. Like, is all this shell stuff? This shell stuff's not new, though. Yeah, there's a cheers animation. It's so cute. You hold it up and you do a little, hey, hey, nuclear cream pie. <laughs> I love that name. Hell yeah. Damn. That is a great name. Thank you for the follow. If you wear the King Tut mask while wearing the cider, you'll break the glass. What? What a weird little detail to throw in there. I guess if you fall over, it makes sense. All right, we'll take one more look. So I did this drawing for Haley while I was here. Marshall, make sure you delete all these so my little, he doesn't get lost forever. Ooh. All right, thank you, Haley. All the love. Thanks for letting me come by. Enjoy your Marshall drawing. And of course, Marshall himself. He's a cute little babe forever and ever. It's like you got drunk drinking the glass of cider reference. <laughs> Such a cute touch that they would do that. There are lots of cute little touches like that in the game. All right, uh, Rufio, if you're still here, please let me know. I'd love to come visit your island. Rufio R. A R R R. Are you there? Have you disappeared? Sorry if, if it took so long you, you left. It's very possible you left. I'm not very fast at this. I think they're gone. Yeah, they had to wait too long. Sorry. All right, uh, Witch Witch, you're up. Let Isabel drink. She does take, the, they do take the day off, New Year's Eve. Can't do anything resident services wise on New Year's Eve. So I guess if y'all have stuff to do in your game with resident services, you better get it done today, Wednesday. Well, for some of you, it's Wednesday. For me, it's Wednesday. Get it done now. Raymond painting time, yes. Yep, you can't go into resident services on the 31st. They just said a dodo. All right, sounds good. Blathers never takes a break, and the Nooks, but they're rich, so. Yeah, I guess poor, poor Blathers never gets a chance to, I mean, but he sleeps on the job, so. They should give him a little, like, suite and bed that he lives in. Make, like, a little room in the museum that's Blathers' little, like, live-in suite. I guess they sleep at night. But where do they go? Who knows? Maybe there's like a secret back room in resident services where they there's beds for Isabel in the nooks. All right, so we need Raymond. We need to pull up a picture of Raymond here. Yeah, there's a back room. So that must be where their little live-in suite is. We don't ever get to see that. It's their private area. Hmm, I need a bigger picture. Uh, 
Oh my god, that one's cute. Let's do that. That's a cute one. All right, I got a good one ready to go. Keep pressing local play. I do that all the time. <laughs> all the time. Good night, Haley. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy that Marshall drawing. And of course, baby Marshall. Sleep tight, sweet dreams. I guess I'll probably wrap up once I'm done with Witch Witch's Island. I was going to do chores, but I can just do that off stream. Not important. Ooh, this Raymond drawing. It's going to be cute. He's going to be cute. So we'll, we'll visit Witch Witch. We'll roam. You said it's a second island, so I haven't seen it at all. So we get to explore. All right. I guess I should close the queue. Queue closed. All right. We are waiting. Dodo sent. All right, I'll bring down the screen since it's a private dodo. Got it. Amethyst. Here we go. To your purple island. With Raymond. Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna do the drawing first. We'll see how how well my Raymond turns out. He's like uh, his scale is gonna be different because his ears are so tall. He's got a little tie. He's got a little gray vest. Little yellow tuft of hair. Black ears. Black glasses. Okay. He shouldn't. Well, he should be all right. It should be fine. Oh, he's got little sharp cat teeth. All right, this is gonna be cute. A snow angel. More snow angels. Oh my God, that's so cute. Ooh, you make your player go straight up to the second level. It's always a really effective way to make your island like feel more differentiated. Because you go straight up and then to like get back down to stuff, you have to go down a ramp. Hello! All right, let's go to the bulletin board first. Let's get this drawing done. Right down here, perfect. Oh, Kix is here, I'm gonna check him. There are no posts, oh my God, I'm gonna be the first post, no pressure. All right, he's gonna have to be blue, I think. Just because his ears are black, I wanna make him his ears look different than the rest of his his head. So we're gonna have to like his head's gonna have to be smaller. I'm gonna have to like cram 
Because his ears are so tall. That was almost a good Animal Crossing head shape. They're kind of shaped like a dumpling. That one's good. We can live with that. Alright, he's got big ears. They're like as tall as the rest of his head. They stick straight up. got well let's make these thicker because we're gonna do red inside the ear actually we should do the red first Feel free to wander and shop. All right, I will do that when I'm done. We might be here a minute. So hard to match a line. There we go. Okay. Then we have his little yellow tuft of hair. Actually, yeah, we should do the hair first. So it's kind of like almost the circular shape in his forehead. It takes up about 40% of his face, or 40%, it's like this. But then there's like a little wave to it. Hopefully this improves with more detail. Right now he's feeling a little rough. All right. Uh, next glasses. He's got a lot, of, like, a lot of like particularly shaped things about him. He's got his big black thick glasses. Yeah, no, we're not doing. I can't do full bodies.
Yeah, he's got more detail in the face. Marshall was kind of a little more, um, like there wasn't, he's just got more going on for sure. He's got like glasses. He's got like a, a full shape hair tuft. He's got little fangs. He's got a nose. Um, his eyes are two different colors. There's just, yeah, there's more for sure. All right, we need to like make a little rim off the edge of the glasses. All right, he's got a little baby triangle nose. And then he's got a little cat mouth. It's a little big. His mouth is a little smaller than Marshall's. And then... Okay, little fangs. Okay, then we gotta do his eyes. So he's got these kind of like half closed eyes, but they're they've got whites. So We're gonna have to do like one red, one blue eye, since I'm just gonna kind of make these not circle shapes. So it looks like he's squinting. I know one of them's yellow, but I don't want to use yellow because it's got yellow on the tuft of his head. I guess I could. Not true, Marshall, I guess. And this one was actually like green, so I'll make that one blue. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty much the best we can do there. I feel like his ears should be a little thicker. Nah, I think they're fine. Okay. We need to do his little shirt and vest. Kind of want to do... Let's make... Thank you. 
He's looking pretty cute. Just takes some time for it to come together. All right, I got a little tie. And then we gotta finish his little vest closure. There we go. And then I want him to like, do I want him? I don't know if I want him to wave too. Mm. Of course he needs his little toe beans. I'm thinking like he's going in for a hug. Toe beans! The toeiest toe beans! Hey, Cola Poppy! How you doing tonight? We are tasked with drawing a marshal on Witch Witch's board. I'm doing well. Doing very well. Just making a cute little baby drawing here with uh, our four color palettes, like trying to make a really good thing on like, uh, you know, the crayons they give you at like a restaurant when you're like four years old. That's what it feels like. We're working with what we got. Oh my God. Hugs. All right, is there anything else we need to add to him? Kind of feel like his vest should be black or gray. Something, maybe we'll make it like a little stripey thing. Or we'll just kind of color it in. Give it a little bit of like color or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they like barely make a mark on the paper. If only if we had like gray and green and um like a purple or something, it would help so much. All right, we need to color his tie in too. I thought I could leave it. Oh, I thought I could leave it white, but I don't think so. I'm just gonna have to color it in a little bit. Leave like the top so you can see the definition of the tie part. All 
right, he needs a few more wrinkles in his shirt. It's all about like less is more, I think is the approach with this. It's like you can't add too much. You can't go too far. Unless you're like, cause the erasing tool in this is like awful. It erases like huge blobs. Okay. Alright, he looks cute. He looks cute. Let's uh looks humanoid in a good way. I'll take it. Give him a little more of like a hair detail too. Looks a little Just needs a little bit more or something. I think it's the suit. Yeah. And then, you know, we got to give him his little tail peeking up. Okay. Thank you, Cola Poppy. He's all right. His head's a little misshapen. Like this cheek's a little needs to be like down just a little bit more like that. God, I wish you could make the eraser just like slightly smaller. It's so rude. Okay. All right. Um Good old S's. Actually, that one wasn't too bad. There we go. Okay, that's not going to work.
All right, I'm in the zone over here. I feel like I'm really quiet. <laughs> Oops, get too engrossed. This is what happens when I draw. Okay. You love it, good. And no drawing of mine is complete without a couple of hearts sprinkled in. You need Raymond. Raymond is a cutie. Oh god, these hearts though. Oh my god, what am I doing? That'll do. <laughs> it's not great, but it's fine. It's fine. Arts for Raymond. Spam hearts in chat for Raymond. Uh, this is good. That's six. We'll do one more right here. Bam. Hugs from Raymond. Your first drawing. Yeah, I'm having my drop frames are definitely. Twitch has hated me this holiday season ever since like Christmas. I've been having it like somewhere between 5 and 20% dropped frames. It's not enough to give me like an alert alert on Streamlabs, but it's definitely not smooth completely. All right, so you said I can roam. So we're going to roam. Oh, I don't have these. I don't have the blue clogs either, damn. Tens! Oh my god, I get tens? Thank you. I did my best. I'm glad you love it. That's what counts. Oh shit, I don't have any money to buy it. I forgot to bring money because I gave it all away. Can you give me 5,000 bells? <laughs> Do you have 5,000 bells so I can buy these blue shoes? Or if you want to buy them and just what, whatever works. I forgot to bring money. Like a baby. Alright, we got a balloon wall. You're very welcome, Witch Witch. Second we'll give. Okay, thank you. I'll look around while you do your thing, of, and I'll pick them up on my way out. Got the orchard up here. We got like a flower garden and a big water. Oh my god, look at all these purple hyacinths. I'm jealous. My island hates purple hyacinths. It refuses to give them to me. Damn, look at all these purple flowers. Ugh, beauty. Grace. I don't want a waterfall going off the back of my island now that I've seen it twice tonight. 
Infinity pool. You got lots of rocks on the back of your island, too. Lots of interesting rock formations. Oh my god, so much purple. I love it. Purple tulips are coming in. Oh. Ever just walk into a room forgetting? Oh my god, all the time. All the time, constantly. Oh, I'm not already famous, Fonicola. Rude. There's no place like, I want to be a witch. Little. Wonder what that. That's. Wheelbarrow and a water pump. You're famous to me, Pink. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, you got a message bottle over here. You have tide pools and a huge rock formation over here. Oh my god. Beautiful. Let's see what kind of purple babies you have on here. We're off a moose. Yes. <gasps> Mallory, Static, Bianca, Flo, Raymond, Queenie, Cleo. Oh my god, they're all so cute. Lobo, Sydney, and Becky. Oh my god, precious. What if I, I don't know if I've seen some of these animals' houses. Lobo. Radical. He's a rocker. Interesting. Also that butt emote. Iconic. Wagging it. Bells near kicks. Thank you. Coco asked me what I read. I told her 18 plus novels. Nice. Queenie. Queenie's cute. Lobo does have a nice house. Queenie's a sass pot. He has the broom and dust pan on the wall. Yeah, it has like a rustic kind of cabin feel. 50 shades of gray. This house isn't purple. This house is super purple. Whose house is this? Becky. She has Sailor Moon Island tune. <laughs> Adorable. What's going on in here? This is, I think I have Flo. This is Flo's house. Yeah. Flo's house is cute. I have her on my island. She's precious. 50 Shades of Grey Animal Crossing Edition. Scandalous. <sighs> Becky. Oh my god, Becky's precious. Wait, come talk to me. Oh, hello. I don't think we've met. Let me guess, you're visiting from another island, perhaps? Welcome, I'm Becky, and you are... JJ? I see. Charmed, I'm sure. It may sound silly, but I have this feeling fate brought us together today. Only time will tell, I suppose. Anywho, whenever you're here on Amethyst, do stop by and say hello. So proper. With a name like Becky, it could go either way. Sydney, what are you crafting? Aw, Sydney, we miss you. 
you were here with us for such a brief time. And yet, here you are, thriving. Giving me some peach thing. Peach umbrella. Great. Playroom stuff, huh? Well, so long. And one more to go in. Who's this? Who is in here? Ah, static. Another rocker. I don't think I've seen you around these parts. You a tourist? Hey, uh, my name's Static. We picked the right island to visit, let me tell you. Amethyst is just perfect for these old bones. Well, don't let me stop you. Go nose around, talk to folk, and enjoy yourself. Cause... Got it. Will do. I love crankies. I'll always love crankies. Their little grovelly voice just melts me. Alright. Got a cut off river there. Well, did I, um. I didn't go to the right side of town, did I? Not really. Two shops up there. We can go visit those real quick, see what clothing's in stock. Wallpapers. Oh my god, that Raymond drawing did come out pretty cute. I'm pretty happy. I did two good drawings tonight. It's gonna be a little bulletin board drawing fairy. No soothing tea room wall. So hard to find. No one seems to have it. Oh, I thought that was Abel's. This is your house, though. The mushrooms can be purple? How did I not know that you could customize that to have purple mushrooms? Why didn't I ever think of that? But they can be blue, too. Oh my god. Pups in a row. Interesting. Not sure what's going on in here. Kind of a hobbyist room, maybe? Ooh. Ooh, the glow. Stuff really does glow at night when you have the lights off. It almost is like glow in the dark. Your purple and green color scheme is so nice. Very soothing. Sorry, is the random room? <laughs> it's just for things and stuff. Ooh, purple bathroom with a fireplace. Swanky. Let's get a load of uh, laundry going here. Pretty. If there's any purple items I can get you, let me know. I'd be happy to help. I have all the Nook orderables in all the colors. This is a pretty kitchen. Gives like got like a modern, like a refurbished modern loft feel. Kitchen dining area. Like a warehouse. Refurbished loft warehouse kitchen. I like it. 
What's upstairs, though? Anyone have a spare iron bench DIY? I don't, but if I find one, I'll I'll let you know. Oh, I have to do Gullivar before I go to bed. This room's cute. Purple with the, like, antique wood. I've been meaning to look up purple stuff, but keep forgetting. Well, if you think of something, let me know. Good night, Alex. Sleep tight. Sweet dreams. I'll see you another night. We're going to check out the right side of the island and then head out after we buy the blue shoes from Kix. Oh, wait. Why did I go down? I don't know. I do not know. All right. Oh, I want to check Abel's, too. I swear I thought I saw Abel's up here, but she is down a little further. Okay. There's some cute little custom designs. Simple and effective. Mm, I'm not seeing anything that I want. Nope, not a thing. Okay, well, let's go to the eastern side of the town. Ooh, wait. I almost skipped over this little area. Cute. Cute little cafe. Nice water feature. It would be cute to do like an in-game wedding and have them throw this over the bride and groom like rice. Or these spouses. Alright, we got a little dog house. Did I? I didn't go up here. Oh, it's just the back. Okay. Got a little miniature cutesy campsite. Oh my god, are you giving me all these bells? I didn't need all of these. I'll just take one. I don't want to take 200,000. I literally just needed 5,000 to buy... to buy these shoes. Because <laughs> I am loaded. So if you... I mean, you probably are loaded too, but... You got married in Animal Crossing a few days ago. You did. Congrats. That's awesome. Oh my god, tell me about it. Tell me about it. You got lots of bells? Okay. I have a lot, but I'll take them. If you're offering, I won't refuse your gift. I will take them. I am honored. Thank you. Oh no, we did. We were over here. The beach is just blocked off. Everyone's wandering down here. They're all confused by the giant wall. Look who it is. Mr. Celebrity himself, Raymond. Bienvenue to the land of Amethyst. My name's Raymond, Crisp. Mm-hmm. Is there anything on the beach? Not really. 
Oh, I didn't go up there. Shit. You want him? He's so cute. They're also cute in their little winter outfits, but for some reason cats and bunnies just seem cuter to me because their little ears are hidden. It's so precious. Oh no, I did come up here. Okay, I did. You got your rock garden over here. Fancy. Dedication. That means there's big things to come on this island. When you've got a dedicated rock garden like that, big things are coming. Not a big fan of rivers. You can like cut off both of your rivers. All right, I think I've seen it all. Thank you for letting me come by. Enjoy that Raymond drawing. Thank you for the bells and for letting me... Oh, look at the little flag. I almost missed that. Cute little amethyst stone. We'll take one more look at the drawing we did. Hugs from Raymond. That was me. River's got in your way, fair. Yeah, I uh, thought about doing the wall thing, but I'm too lazy. My island's too settled and I'm too lazy to like, alter huge chunks of it. Alright, we need to head home. I need to do Gulliver's little thing. Thanks for having me. It's lovely. I can't wait to come back. And I'm sure I will. Yeah, we need to do Gulliver's little thing. And then we're basically done. I'll just do my little my chores off stream. Kid Knives wasn't, so if Kid Knives comes by and says you always wear blue, y'all have to let Kid Knives know that I spent the whole day not in blue. No blue to be had on my little body today. Nope. Not me. I was like, Kid Knives is going to be so impressed. I'm not wearing blue, or, well, I did wear pink. They also said it couldn't be blue, like one outfit couldn't have blue or pink, so I did still succumb to using pink. We'll have to think of another variation for next time. Maybe like a pretty, like gray, like gray and green maybe? might work or like earthy like a green and brown I don't know proud of you thank you <laughs> why didn't you make a pink island um I thought of the name indigo before the game came out like back in 2019 I was like I just because I was always really loved blue roses and um and stuff like that and the purple tulips in new leaf so i wanted to kind of riff off of that was kind of my thought and then i figured there would be a lot of blue items and assets in the game which there are i feel like compared to other colors there's lots of blue variants on stuff so i just kind of ran with that i could do a pink island for my next island i have i haven't bought a second co copy of animal crossing but I do have a second switch. But I, I'm a tunnel vision person. I can't do two islands at once, so I won't even think about starting a new island until this one feels like done done. Oh my god, wake up, swashbuckler. Don't do this to me. Get your little ass up. Fine, I guess we have to hit you with the net. You've, you made me. You made me do it. Oh my god, I don't know what I would be doing. Still trying to desperately make Mario Maker levels even though I was clinging 
to the game and had no ideas left. Probably playing Pokemon. I put about 800 hours into Mario Maker and I made like 24 levels, enough to make like a whole Mario Maker world. His communicator is gone! You were playing Pokemon before Animal Crossing. Yeah, I put 800 hours in Mario Maker from the time it came out to March. I felt good putting that down though. Like, I stopped making levels before the last update came, which had a bunch of new additions. I could probably think of some stuff to do with those, but I'm kind of done with Mario Maker. It's a great game, but uh, I honestly spent about 80 to 90 percent of my time just in maker mode. I didn't play a lot of other levels because there's some frustrating levels in that game. It's an experience, that game. And I'm just honestly not that good at Mario. I don't know how to do all the advanced tricks and stuff. So a lot of my levels are like... Oh my god, what? I'm like right on top of it. A lot of my levels are like... Difficult? Okay, that was fast and easy. But they're not... They don't require like shell jumps and... Re-grabs and... All this crazy shit that people do like Kaizo Mario. They're not quite that advanced. They're just like... Difficult. And they're long. I think the... I'm, I made a bunch of levels that are like... Multi-path. So you could beat each level in a combination of ways. You could essentially play through my levels two different times and play two completely different levels. For each one. So I actually, it was more like I designed 48 levels, but I just put like two levels into each one. Which I shouldn't have done. I should have just kept them shorter and like made more levels. But I didn't. Can't do Mario Maker at all. It's, yeah. It's frustrating. I like designing though. Again, it's like, it's a creation tool, you know? That's the way I kind of treated it. I didn't treat it like, like a Mario game with all these Mario levels I could play. I was more of like creation tool for me. He saved me life. Thanks, send me some good swag. I'm gonna head off now. I am also heading off. This is it. That was like my last thing, so I'm gonna head off, find someone to raid, and hit the hay. It's late. Too wide and big for me. I prefer something with boundaries like Animal Crossing style designing. Yeah. Mario Maker's kind of limiting. I mean, there's, I feel like there's a lot you can do with it if you are an advanced player, but good night, Cola Poppy. Good night, Lou. Good night, Kinky. Um, I'm going to see who's around to raid. So if you want to stick around for the raid, that'd be great. If not, then head to bed and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm either doing Wind Waker tomorrow. Um, Hey, Fortnite 2020, thank you. I'm either doing Wind Waker tomorrow or I'm doing like a Mario Kart Smash blend. Do you have any spare house furniture? I have some spare house furniture, yeah. I'm sure I do. What are you looking for? Hey! Oh my god, you got the little Kurt. Hey. Can you please catalog some? Um, I'm not going to do it tonight because it's already 2.30. But, yeah, I got to go to bed. But I'll show you what I have. And so most of this stuff is um not catalog worthy, though. It's like craftables and like seasonal special stuff. Yeah, but here, I'll show you what I have. So, 
these two things are catalogable. These chairs are, that is, couch is, uh, teacher desk, loft bed, cute table, posture check, oh my gosh, you got it. Um, all that wedding and that's all craftable. Uh, beach towel is, safe is, upright locker is, that's all craftable, panel, you know, the best thing you can do, Cola Poppy, um, here's what I recommend you do. Look at a, like an orderable goods catalog. You know, all this stuff. Look through this and then click Y and it'll filter out anything that's orderable. And the thing is, as long as I visit you or you visit me, I think, did I come to your island yet? I've been to your island, right? Maybe not. No, because you're new. You just you just started recently. Anyway, um, I have everything as far as orderable furniture. So all you got to do is use a couple channel points and I can send you any of this stuff. So you'll have to visit me or I'll visit you next stream. We do next time I do Animal Crossing. And then literally you can say, oh, I looked at the Nook catalog I'll find you, what's a link to like all the furniture? Let's see, hold on. I'll send you a link that you can bookmark. All Nook orderable furniture, ACNH. Furniture, catalog. Okay, so here's something you wanna use. If it says you can buy the item, how to get, if it says in the column how to get that you get it from Nook's Cranny, or basically anything other than craft with DIY, if it says craft with DIY or it's like seasonal, then I can't get it for you, but hold on to that link look through all that stuff and then you can like write down a little list you know say oh I want the digital scale and then you can look up digital scale and whatever color you want and then I can just order you it because I have all the orderable stuff every single orderable thing you know all the colors of everything so look through it all get familiar with it but make sure you're you're not because I won't be able to get you things that have to be crafted with materials or seasonal things that are like DIY cards, um, Christmas stuff, Easter stuff, stuff like that. But look over it, check it out. Come to me with a list, or you can just order like a couple items per stream, and I'll just start sending you stuff. I'll get you to come to my island. We'll be mailing buddies. And that's all we gotta do. Oh, oopsie. I hit the wrong button, there we go. Oh no, behind the hood. Anyway, bedtime. Bedtime for me. So let's see who's around to raid. Who's around? Let's do I don't feel like picking a random animal crosser. Thank you. 
Okay, we're gonna go over to someone I've never raided or watched before. Their name is Groovy Plant Dad. Last stream of 2020, taking a look at all my screenshots this year. So he's doing a wrap up on his Animal Crossing year. So check him out. Uh, if you have hard emotes of any kind, just spam them. I was looking for the soothing tea room wall. It's like a grayish white color. So check out Groovy Plant Dad. Y'all have a wonderful night. Just uh, any heart emotes you have when you get over there, just spam them. And I will see y'all tomorrow night. I am playing either Wind Waker, another night of Wind Waker, or I'm doing a Mario Kart Smash play with viewers stream. So if y'all can come by for that, it'd be wonderful. If not, then I'll see you another night. Mwah. Mwah. Sleep tight and sweet dreams. Bye, y'all. I'll see you later.